How do you redefine the 40 hour work week? I'm gonna tell you exactly how. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we know that if we have a clear plan, anything becomes possible. And if you can have a clear plan, a clear process to create that plan, and a way to create clarity with your partner, your spouse, you can drive to amazing heights. All right, so if you're wondering, you know, hey, what is this whole 40 hour work week thing? Where did that come from? How does that work? We're gonna go through and we'll talk about the history and how you can perhaps reframe it in your own mind. Now, as a potential entrepreneur, solopreneur, working on your own, that's one of the key reasons we do that. And if you stick with me to the very end, I got a special offer I'll give you on me. All right, so when you think about it, one of the primary reasons people go out and start their own business, especially more of the solopreneur gig type business, is the flexibility to work when they want, how much they want, and how they want. And this is something that, uh, in a lot of ways, is almost a newer construct. When I was a kid, I'm, uh, I'm old now, I'm 57, back in the day, it was either full-time or part-time. Those were pretty much your two options. There were a few gig workers, but they were far and few between. It was sort of like uh, babysitting, or, but not the way it is today, it's changed. And as a solopreneur, you can go out and start your own business, and maybe you decide, I wanna work 30 hours a week, maybe I wanna work 15, 10, whatever it is. There's huge opportunities for you. Now, this goes all the way back to the idea of how we look at time. And there's a great book called 4,000 Weeks that I enjoyed, and it talks about how the whole construct of a 40-hour work week is fairly new in human, human existence. Forever and ever and ever, we were on agrarian time. And what I mean by agrarian time was we, we took whatever time it took to go out and milk the cow or harvest the crops. When we were tired, we took a nap. We, didn't, we weren't trading time for money. It wasn't until we got to a point that we were in industrial time where we started trading time for money that things started to evolve and they evolved quickly. And with that, you know, initially the industrial guys, they were working people seven twelves, seven days a week, 12 hours a day, killing people and they, you know, they owned the houses, they had the company towns, all those things. They may have gotten a fair amount of work out of them, but they, they realized, and this was, uh, early on with uh, Henry Ford, he, he said, you know, well, what if we what if we only worked people five days a week? What if we paid them a little bit more and they worked eight, nine hours a day? They'd be able to afford our product and we'd actually be able to create our own market. And it was out of that that the 40 hour work week came together. Basically some old white guys that said, how can we expand our market? And you know, 120 some 150 years ago, so you think about it, that's changed dramatically from where that was, but we still live with that construct. And the reality is, is I believe that from an evolutionary standpoint, we're at a point where we've never really even figured out how to handle that very well. We still haven't come to that level to where a lot of people are in that fight or flight mode and a lot of people are working more than that 40 hour weeks, but it becomes more of a self-inflicted wound because they're keeping up with the Joneses chasing all the money and all the junk when they don't really need it. So it's starting to transition to more of a knowledge type base um, uh, existence for time where the knowledge we have starts to have more and more value and thinking becomes much more important. As a CEO advisor and a high level coach, this is one of the primary things I'm working on all the time is helping my CEOs realize say doing less a lot of times is more because they're thinking and that's more important. Now, when you start to take into account what's happening in the land of AI and machine learning, oh my goodness, it's gonna be a mind bender because time is, is gonna to cease to exist as far as evolution and thinking. It's only gonna be done based on computing power and horsepower. Changes are gonna happen so, so much faster and that's gonna get harder and harder for us to process. So, one of the, the adoptions that my wife, Rika and I have, have taken into account and what we teach is helping people to consider how can you rewire. Now we use that specifically with the idea of retirement. I'm 57, I have friends that are starting to retire. Candidly, I don't ever want to retire. I know some people who retire and oh my God, they turn into a goddamn menace or they get old and die. But I don't want to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week for the rest of my life either. So for us, what we do is we redefine what success looks like for us and then we rewire so that we can figure out when we can and can't work for it. So as an example, we take one to two months off a year doing adventure travel. We live here 
in uh, beautiful, uh, amazing Colorado, 10,000 feet. Uh, my wife, Rika, has, has rewired to where she takes Mondays and Fridays off. So she's rewired to three full days a week. She feels like she contributes as a couples and family counselor and a coach. That's great. I love getting in the backcountry. I love thinking. I love working and thinking on things for my clients. Listen to podcasts. So I specifically block out, or I should say my chief of staff, thank you, Janine, blocks out uh, three four-hour blocks once a week that are specifically just my thinking time, my screw around time, where we go and focus on that. But we're redefining what the week looks like. We're not gonna live by the 40 hour work week. And you don't have to either. Now, as a solopreneur, that's one of the key things that you look at when you're defining success early on with that. Now you've done great, I appreciate you sitting through this. If you enjoyed this, please share it, check it out, like it, but also, um, if you're one of the first five, reach out to me personally. I'll put my email up and I will give you free access to the course and the avatar we're building that allows you and you can go out and uh, start your own gig. Explore it safely. If it's a good fit for you, great, you do it. If it isn't, don't worry about it. Thank you again so much for investing the time. Keep smiling.